Hey there, people! Your overlord has returned from his frickin' study trip thingy to Canada and America, and now I'm back for some Pokémon. I'll probably discuss the trip in one of those vlog-esque videos with my cell phone. Ah, oh, crap, he's gonna whip out one of those stupid cell phone videos again. Yes, I am. Anyway, back to Pokémon Ruby. It's been like two weeks, I have no clue what we did last time. Look, my bike can do jumpies! Ah, that shit's hilarious, though it produces one of the most annoying sound effects in gaming to date. Not sure if you can hear it over my excessive talking, but whatever, I don't care. Let's head out into the ocean, because we can now. And I'm already lost. Crap. And I'm gonna run into my fair share of frickin' tentacles and wingles here, because that they seem to be the only Pokémon that ever show up in this area. Anyway, let's battle this broad. Get Heracross some needed experience, because he's still a few levels behind, I think. Ooh, a Whalmer, level 35. Okay, apparently trainers are stepping up their game here. Time for Brick Break. Should do the trick, I mean, it's a bloody Whalmer. Come on. Oh, that was moderately disappointing. But at least Whirlpool does nothing as well. And Brick Brick didn't exactly do nothing, it just didn't do enough. But Horn Attack will finish it off. And Wilmer gives allowed a lot of experience, so that's good. Shame she only has one Pokemon though. Eh, well, we'll probably run into plenty of Wilmers out here anyway. Do, 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 do. And the entire freaking ocean looks the same. It's like, uh, who thought that was a good idea? Because it really wasn't. So let's see. Oh, here we go. We have some trainers. If I can just get to them without all the wild Pokemon interrupting me, seriously. Why would I be interested in level 6 Tanakul? I'm not. Leave me alone. Okay, your big sister's not even looking at me, so. Why is she in with the battle? But apparently she is. And they have a Chinchou and a Carvana. Hmm. My Pokemon are a bit underleveled for this area, apparently. But they do make up for that by being fully evolved. And I'm pretty sure those two should be evolved as well by now, but at least by those levels. But it doesn't really matter anyway. Carvana's so weak that any attack will kill it. And Chin Chow is not exactly the strongest thing out there either. So whack it in the. Oh, come on, Heracross. Now you're just being disappointing. Uh, don't really give a crap about Magneton being confused. Heracross can just pull off a horn attack and. I don't know, do a hidden. Oh, Heracross faster. Okay, doesn't matter. Down goes Chin Chow. Level 31. Do I get new moves? No, I don't. Alright, let's get out of here. She'll chew you out. Maybe she'll pop your inner tube and like, get you to drown out here. And I can't pass through these rocks. Like, you'd think the gap's big enough for me to fit in between, but no. Invisible walls everywhere. If you're going bored of swimming, then why are you out in the middle of the ocean? Three Pokemon. Probably all of them are going to be Merrells. Just wait and see. Alright, here, I'll break your face with my weird beetle hand. Oh, maybe he'll knock himself... Okay, he's not gonna knock himself out with recoil, because that did nothing. At least Fury Attack is also strong enough to take it out. Though probably if Heracross ever learns a new move, Fury Attack is totally the first one to go. Because it's useless. Alright, Hariyama, why did I bring you out against, uh, what was it again, a Wingull? Eh, he has Rock Tomb. Quake Attack does nothing. Rock Tomb actually surprisingly accurate for an 80% move. Because I tend to not have much luck with those. But Rock Tomb seems to be an aversion. And let's see, a Whalmer bring out Cacturn. Because Cacturn's a grass type. And Cacturn might be my crutch Pokemon in the next gym battle, so I really need to get Cacturn up to speed a little. Also, I need to get it a better move, because Bullet Seed is just not cutting it anymore. Sadly, there's no good grass move in Generation 3. 
apart from Leaf Blade, which basically only Grow Violent Sceptile can learn in this game. And even still, Cacturn cannot learn Leaf Blade in the later generations either. He's pretty much stuck with Seed Bomb or Energy Ball, which are also not in this generation. So, yeah, looks like I'll be forced to stick with Bullet Seed for the time being. At least until Cacturn learns Needle Arm or something. And what do we have here? A mysterious house in the middle of the ocean? Uh huh. Okay. You die for treasure. And yet, he's asking me if I have treasure for him. Apparently, because he's too lazy to do his own job. I'm not gonna search for treasure for you. You do that. It's not my job. I'm a kid. I travel the world with my animal friends. I don't need to worry about diving for treasure. Alright, this at least looks promising. Okay, go up here. Yep. This is Moss Deep Island, location at the 7th gym. However, I'm probably gonna hold off on challenging it for a while because uh, the Pokemon in there tend to be kinda high leveled. As in, close to level 40. I uh, really didn't catch what that old man was saying. Doesn't matter, found a netball. Which is really good for catching bug types and water types. Because you know, you use nets for catching butterflies and stuff. And for catching fish. And fish equals water and butterflies equals bug, apparently. Even though there's plenty of bug types that are not butterflies and plenty of water types that are not fish. Like Meryl. Uh -huh. No, I prefer a, I like a boat. Preferably a cruise ship. A really big one. Okay, I'll take a free super rod, I guess. That's always useful. Even though my team's pretty much filled up and I have absolutely no intention of using any Pokemon that I catch with said rod, but hey, it's a freebie. And I'm Dutch. Dutch people love freebies. Alright, put it up there, because I'm not going to use the good rod anymore. I mean, I have a super rod, and super is automatically better than good. So, what do we have in here? More people to give me free stuff? Uh-huh. Okay, if you say you don't envy her, that pretty much means you do envy her, because if you don't envy her, then why would you bother saying it? You just got owned by logic, poor fella. Alright, Herder Whalmer has disappeared. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I think that was Team Magma's doing. Now, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. An old buzzard. Never heard that expression before. That door is locked. I have no clue why that door is locked. I'm pretty sure you never get anything that unlocks it either. Maybe it was something that they took out of the game, but it's... It serves no purpose, it's really weird. Anyways, that kid in that house can tell you where a secret base is if you completely forgot. My bag is full. Why is my bag always full? Let's see, orange mail. Why the hell do I have mail? Give it to Swallow. And put a nice message in it. Oh yes, this is gonna be fun. Mail... Is... Where's is? Come on, is. There we go. No, oh, that one on the left. Uh, is Sucky in here? Or shit? Pretty sure shit isn't. Uh, suction cups? That doesn't really work out well. Uh, awful? Or dumb? No dumb. Okay, that's lame. Lame. Is Lame in there? Probably not. Um, let's see. Another word for awful or lame. Uh, maybe you'll find it in here in the categories feelings. Uh, bad. Yeah, let's go with bad. And let's see. Do I bad something? Okay, we'll continue over here for sentence number two. 
One that you should all take to heart. Like... Eh... Okay, what am I gonna... If... What could I spell here? You... Please let the last word be in there. Agree. Sweet. Mail is bad. Like if you agree. I bet this will be my most liked video in a long damn time. Alright. Call the King's Rock. Sure, I'll take it. Even though that item is virtually useless in this game. Because it can only be used to fulfill one of its functions. Hey look, it's a cute zigzag goon in the mail. Alright, mail be gone. Send it to my PC, whatever. So yeah, about the King's Rock. The King's Rock has two functions. If you give it to a Pokemon and it... It, get, <coughs> it basically gives the Pokemon the extra chance to cause the opponent to flinch whenever it attacks it with certain kinds of moves. King's Rock is also used to evolve Poliwhirl and Slowpoke if you give it to them and trade them while they're holding it. But because Poliwhirl and Slowpoke are not available in this game, it basically serves no purpose. Anyway, Steven apparently lives here and gives you the HM for Dive. Which is basically a water type version of Fly. Or Dig. Two turn move that can be used to avoid something. And I'm gonna te teach it to Marsh Tomp because, hell, anything beats Growl. And yeah, Marsh Tom's kind of my semi HM slave ish thingy. Oh, yeah, the one that Captain Cern found in his submarine that is now taken by Team Magma. And I had nothing to do with it. Okay, what do we have in here? Black Belt guy. Uh huh. Okay, that's good to know that my Heracross likes red Poke Blocks. Whoop de frickin' do. Totally came in here just to get that piece of information. Oh, they have a space center here? Nice. Yes, apparently the technology in the Pokemon world's improving if they're going into space now. I mean, just mark my words. The Generation 6 Pokemon games will take place on a giant space station. Or another planet, or something. That'd be pretty awesome. And I give him a whole bunch of alien Pokemon to catch. Oh, you're not gonna give me a free revive. Well, screw you then. Okay, nothing else to do here. Time to go for the gym. And this gym's kind of confusing. It's got like these sliding arrow thingies that send you all over the place. And usually in front of a trainer that you must then battle. And this gym is a psychic type gym. And I... let's see. Heracross is weak to psychic, so that's bad. But it's a Curlia. Curlia's weak as all hell. Still not weak enough for Heracross to kill it in one hit, though. But at least it doesn't go for an attacking move, and Heracross is faster, unless it's a speed tie, which it's not. Or I'm getting extremely lucky, and Heracross takes out Curlia. Nice. Now that was this guy's... or girl's. I don't know, it's kind of an ambiguous sprite. Only Pokémon, so... we. And now go over... Oh, I'm right back where I started. Fine, we'll go over here then. Oh, crap. Yeah, you can't really see where the arrows are gonna take you anyway. So you're just gonna have to hop on and hope you're not gonna end up in front of a trainer. Okay, I'm guessing this is the female psychic. With the level 36 Kadabra. You know you can evolve a Kadabra as soon as it gets to level 16, right? Why have you not done so? It's not hard to evolve a Kadabra. All it takes is a friend, basically. Okay, this could take a while if it's not gonna do anything but recover. Oh no, I think I killed it. Yep, I did. Nice one, Heracross. Up next, another Curlia. Such variety. It's not like there's not enough psychic types to choose from in this region, it's full of them. You have the Abra line, you have the Ralts line, you have... freaking Giraffarig, you have the Natu line, you have Wobbuffet. You have Soul Rock, you have Lunatone. Uh, do we have any more? You have Baltoy, Claydol, uh, Chimeco. So many psychic types to choose from. And yet all they use are Kadabra and Curlia. So weird. 
All right, what do you have? Okay, a Zatu. That's really bad, because it's also a flying type. And it's also not using offensive moves, for some reason. So I'm guessing the Wish could come in handy, because there's no way Heracross is going to knock that out in one hit, and it's still not going for a flying or a psychic move. Hmm. How peculiar. Okay, I'm not really going to get anywhere with Heracross in this battle, I'm thinking. Crap. I was hoping, like, maybe go for a flying move and maybe I'd live and counter it for massive damage, but no. Let's try Fury Attack. Maybe if it can get five attacks in a row, I'll actually get somewhere. And hopefully not get killed by the bloody Nightshade. Come on, that's two, three, four, nice, five. Excellent. That did about as much as two horn attacks. Come on, critical, critical. That would be so awesome. Crap. And now Heracross bites the... Wait, what? Okay, not complaining. It's not going for Wish either. Alright, pulled another victory out of my ass, somehow. Excellent. Psychic Samantha, you suck. Your future sight missed. You can't tell the future. You're a crappy psychic. And where does this take me? Ooh, another switch. Let's see, that changes that arrow. And do I want to battle that guy? Who do I have up front? Let's bring out Hariyama. Yes, I know. Hariyama in a psychic gym. What the hell am I doing? I have that much faith in Hariyama. I mean, remember how well he fought against that Altaria in the previous gym? And this is a freaking Ralts. There's no way a Ralts is going to get rid of Hariyama. So, secret power, kill it in one hit. Okay, Hariyama, seriously, that is disappointing. I know it's a freaking secret power, it's not the strongest move out there, but still. And at least it goes down now. Probably not even worth the experience. Yeah, not that much. Okay, Kadabra. Let's see how that goes. Kadabra's not that bulky. Okay, seriously, your health is full. Why the hell do you go for recover? You stupid AI. Oh crap. Yeah, Kadabra has the synchronize ability. If it gets a status effect, the opponent gets that status effect as well. Unless it's immune to it, like you can't poison a poison type or burn a fire type or freeze an ice type. Or whatever. Okay, seriously, Hariyama, you're kinda busting my chops here. Seriously, it's a Ralts and a Kadabra. How do you not kill those in one hit? At least you get the level 32 out of it. But now you're paralyzed. Yeah, this video is kinda... I'm not gonna be able to finish this gym in quite a while, so... Well, it's gonna take... I don't know, a couple of more minutes. So let's just go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up. And then we'll kick the asses of the rest of the gym's trainers in the next episode of Pokemon Ruby. Which, if all things go well, will be next Thursday. If I don't... Say, screw my schedule again. But whatever, thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.